Veterans City Council is moving forward with developing the former disabled American veterans property by changing the zoning to allow mixed use development. Chancellor Wynn joins us live with a closer look at tonight's meeting. So during tonight's city council meeting here in Cold Spring, we actually heard many residents speaking out against the rezoning of that former DAV property. It's a 27 acre site that is really at the entrance to the city of Cold Spring. So, of course, residents have lots of concerns about a development happening there. But still tonight at the council meeting, the city council has voted to approve changing the zoning, which will now allow for mixed use development. And they sought off of Sonic after land in Campbell County. This piece of 27 acre property. On Monday, Cold Spring City Council voted four to two in favor of rezoning the 27 acres of the former DAV property into a mixed use development, despite opposition from many residents. Our issue is there's going to be a brand new exit out of this new development that's going to be 100 yards down from my street. It's already incredibly difficult to turn left out of our street. Some of the bigger concerns around city council approving the zoning change is the impact of traffic from an increased number of people and vehicles, as well as preserving vegetation. Any issue that comes before the city, you're always going to have people that are for it or against it. You know, there's always people that are going to be on each side. And I think for us up here, we have to look at everything. We have to look at the pros. We have to look at the cons and decide what is in the overall best interest of the city. While the developer, A.L. Nair, LLC, is conducting traffic surveys with the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet. The traffic study shows that there's minimal impact to the existing intersections. Uh, the level of service at the intersections uh, is not negatively impacted to a great degree uh, by this development. And, you know, any uh, traffic study, any improvements to the roads need to be improved by the uh, Kentucky Transportation Cabinet. And so obviously we're going to comply with their requirements. And when it comes to the concern of vegetation loss, the city ordinance says 20% of the area must remain green space. A certain number of those mature trees are going to remain and provide the screening. Uh, you know, so we've, we've, we've heard those comments and we've accommodated uh, that concern into our plan. Now, phase one, which is what we are focusing on, is really just a couple of medical office buildings as well as a few more retail spaces. But phase two, which is the eastern portion of that 27 acre site, that's where there could be housing developments happening. But of course, phase two is far off into the future and city council says they will be working with the developer and the developer says they're going to try to keep up transparency with the residents so they can actually learn a little bit more about the process of developing phase two. But again, that is still pretty far off into the future. I know discussions tonight about phase two did speak a bit about the density of each individual acre and how much housing would be allowed on each individual acre, but there are more discussions to take place when it comes to phase two in the future. Tonight, it is the rezoning from industrial to that mixed-use development that is really the starting process for developing phase one. But for now, reporting live in Cold Spring, I'm Chancellor Wynn with photojournalist Christopher Waldman, Fox 19 Now.